We understand that we didn't get the job done. We understand that we've got to go to work to improve in every single way we possibly can. Sorry that we didn't live up to uh, that standard this year, but we will be back. Joe Flacco's going to be a great player. Joe Flacco is a great player. I think I'm an asset to this team. I'm worth what I'm worth. Sure he's elite. Sure he is. I bring to the table what I bring to the table. The fact that we won the Super Bowl just comes with that. The priority of mine was to get that respect that I feel now from this organization. He's the guy that doesn't get a lot of, I guess, hoopla. Phenomenal player that doesn't get the credit that he deserves. Doesn't get the props or uh, recognition he deserves. But he, he, he kind of deserves it. So we always had that nonchalant attitude, so I call him Joe Cool. Sounds right. Flacco's not flashy. He's kind of plain. With Joe Quaker, Joe Quaker. If he was a car, he'd be something safe and reliable. Right, Certainly not what you'd see in. And... Check NASCAR. NASCAR. He hands it off, watches Ray Rice score a lot. And over five seasons, he's averaged just 20 touchdown passes a year. Yeah! He's done a lot of good things and uh, you know, a lot of bad things. It's just inconsistencies. Black out of throw, firing far side numbers, he's intercepted. The pick six. But then towards the end of the season, that's when things started to change. Look at what he's done in the playoffs. In the playoffs, Joe Flacco shifts into a much higher gear. I would say that screen pass to Ray Rice. He improvised, uh, kind of sidled on through. Flacco wants to throw a screen. Thought I had good coverage on him. Colts haven't read, but he still completes it to Rice. He's at the 40. It was kind of like the perfect play. Yeah, it was kind of disheartening. He got this persona like, man, we're going to win this game regardless. Denver, the Denver game. Is at 50, 49, 48, third down and three. Definitely when it's time to turn it on, he turns it all over. Whenever the pressure is on him, you know, I think he just has the ability you know, to turn it on. He's clutch. He can throw the football. He can throw the ball 80 yards. Denver rushes three. Flacco stepped up, throws deep. Far sideline, Jacoby Jones has it at the 20. Oh! Jacoby Jones, and the miracle is answered. Tough. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Against the Patriots, he made some throws in that game that were in incredible. Flacco's being a stud right now. Sitting in the pocket, delivering strikes. That guy will just throw it. He will just throw it. He's about to get smoked, and he just launches it. Flacco lob, end zone, bolted, touchdown! He made it to the big game. Flacco lob down the middle. Flacco play action, throws, end zone, touchdown, yeah! Ravens! Yeah! Woo! Maybe Flacco isn't Mr. Safe and Reliable. Just maybe he's the top-of-the-line model of NFL quarterbacks. It's your car. I get a car? Do I really? Oh, I get a car! Is it time for me to quit calling Flacco Fluco? I think I'll wait one more game, because my friend T. Sizzle just said, got one more to get. OK, that's fair. Let's wait one more game. As great as Joe Flacco was last night, Stephen A., and I don't use that word very often, he was great. Despite the fact that Joe Flacco has now gone Joe Montana on Tom Brady twice in AFC Championship games in Foxborough and gone Joe Montana on Peyton Manning in Denver before that. I still can't get out of my head what I called him on ESPN.com in a column that ran last Thursday. I said he's the best, worst quarterback I've ever seen because I'm going to remind everybody one last time, as unfair as it may seem, that since the introduction of by far the best quarterback stat out there, QBR, scale of 0 to 100, introduced in 2008, Joe Flacco has the two worst games ever recorded by any quarterback in Stephen A. They both came this year. A .3 versus Matt Schaub in Houston, 
and a point four versus Peyton Manning in Baltimore just this year. And Stephen, hey, remember the game you left early last year in Baltimore? Sanchez yes. versus Flacco, remember that one? Yep. And Flacco wound yep. up with a 14.7 QBR, which is pretty pathetic. And Sanchez was a .8. It, it was probably the worst co-quarterback performance we've ever witnessed or had to sit through. So I, I can't get out of my head that every once in a while, when you least expect it, he does turn into Fluco. I've never seen anything quite like it because right now, Joe Flacco has seven all-time QBR performances under 10. Remember, 0 to 100, under 10. That's tied for third behind Sanchez and Jamarcus Russell. That's seven of them, Stephen A. So could he go fluke on the Super Bowl? Maybe. I, I'm not going to predict that he will. But given his history, it could happen. So I'm going to hang on one more game. I don't think that's fair to Joe Flacco. Um, and what I mean by that is, yeah, you know, you might want another game, meaning the Super Bowl, in order to cement him as one of the great quarterbacks in the game, uh, you know, in terms of some of the elite guys. But Skip, the dude has been to three AFC championship games in five years. He's won a playoff game all of the five years he's been in the league. And now he's heading to his first Super Bowl. The dude is out of the University of Delaware. And this is what he's doing. And so what I'm saying to you is that there's times I've lost faith in Flacco, so I'm not going to knock you for that. That would be a bit hypocritical. But you got to give credit where credit is due. He outplayed Brady last year. He beat him this time. He was a week removed from beating Peyton Manning, okay? Beat Andrew Luck in the, in, in, in the, in the, first, in the first game, uh, the wild card game. I, I just think it's one of those situations where we've got to give respect where respect is due. A guy like T. Sizzle, Terrell Suggs, has been saying for the longest time what this dude is capable of. If we want to be fair to Flacco, what we have to be willing to acknowledge is that he warrants expectations he himself sometimes does not live up to. He's big. He's got a big-time strong arm. He can make all the necessary throws. He's shown an ability to perform under big moments in big games. We've given Eli Manning that same kind of, uh, of kudos, even though he's won two Super Bowl championships and Flacco's still looking for his first. All I'm saying is, is that as we look at Flacco emerge as a quarterback, especially if he wins this next game, we're going to have to recognize that he has arrived yeah. as one of the elite quarterbacks in this game. But right now, at least let's take a moment to acknowledge he is officially knocking on the door. Yep. Because when you can deliver in big games the way that he has delivered, he deserves a lot more credit. Pocket collapsing, fires deep down the seat, looking for Bowman, has it, end zone! Flacco deep drop, firing deep, far side, look at end zone, caught, touchdown, Ravens! Play action, deep drop, under pressure, throwing deep, he's got it, touchdown, Ravens! He grew up today, and that's, you know, in the tunnel, I told him, you're the general now, lead us to a victory. I, I've always been a Joe Flacco fan, and I always will be. Flacco in the shotgun. Takes the snap. 49ers rush four. Flacco lobs down the middle. Caught. Touchdown. Ravens. And the Ravens strike first in Super Bowl 47. Flacco in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Throwing deep. He's got Jacoby Jones open at the 10. Jones makes the catch. He's not touched. Bounces up. Spins out of one tackle. Running at the left pass mark. Lunges in. Touchdown. Ravens. Flacco to throw. Pumps once. Lobs it to the end zone. Anquan Bolden on the receiving end. Touchdown, Ravens! Black on a throw. Drifting to his left. Fires to the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Dennis Pitta! Black a rolling to the right. He can run it in if he wants to. He does. He's in. Touchdown! Joe Flacco on the keeper. Black on a throw. Firing end zone. And it is caught! Touchdown! Torrey Smith! From this point forward. We can describe our quarterback with one word. One word that will silence the critics. Elite! Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers, 
they didn't win the Super Bowl this year. They signed contracts, no one bats an eye. You signed this contract and the reaction is, they spent too much on Flacco. How do you react to that kind of talk? It's just the way it is. I mean, you got a quarterback that you believe in, that's what you have to pay him. I mean, that's what today's football, is. you know, that's what everybody brought upon themselves, really. And that's fine. Does it me. burn you up, though? I mean, when, when Matt Stafford, who went 4-12 and 12 last year, gets this deal and everyone just nods their head, does it burn you up and say, what, what, what did I do? How can I not, you know? I can't complain too much. I got paid. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see those guys out there getting big contracts. I mean, I think that's what it's all about. The day you signed the contract, March 4th, what do you do? Where do you go to eat? What's the move after that? And then I just drove back home to New Jersey. On my way home, I stopped at McDonald's and got, got a quick bite to eat. McDonald's? I had, yeah, well, I hadn't eaten. You go to a truck stop McDonald's? Exactly. Pretty much, yeah. What do you get, chicken nuggets? Oh, I got, yeah, I got whatever was going to be the, the cleanest. So yeah, I think it ended up being some fries, a drink, and Super size at least? No, no, I got, I got, I got the minimal. <laughs> Super Bowl champion, yet I'm looking on newsstands right now. I see RG3 on the cover of GQ. I see Colin Kaepernick, ESPN in the body. How many magazine shoots did you do this offseason? Well, you're not going to be seeing me on ESPN in the body issue. <laughs> um, you're not going to be seeing me in GQ magazine. It's all for the better that those guys want to do those things. It's just, uh, that's not my personality. Ray Lewis retires. And now there's this thought of void in the locker room. Like, who's going to fill in? Who's going to give the speeches? Is Joe Flacco the man who's going to step in for Ray Lewis? Joe Flacco will not be giving any, you know, speeches or, you know, a lot of speeches. You know, it, it's one of those things that you get a guy like Ray, and he, he loves to do that, and he's good at doing that, then great. I'm sure every now and then, you know, somebody's going to stand up and say some things, but, you know, that's not really, you know, what we need or what we're all about. Let me give you a few names and just give me one word answers when I say these names. <laughs> I'm scared of these questions. Tom Brady. Tom Brady, um, champion. Peyton Manning. Top of the game. It's tough to give a one hour answer. Dennis Pitta. Hurt. Hurt. <laughs> Ray Lewis. Uh, awesome. Ben Roethlisberger. Steeler. 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 There are 11 teams with better Super Bowl odds than the defending champions. You guys are 30 to 1 odds to win the Super Bowl. Does it? Give you a little motivation, anything? Is that locker room material? Uh, I don't know. I don't think you pay attention to it. Things are said in the preseason all the time, you know, about us, about other teams, and, you know, they rarely come true. It, it's, it's a matter of getting out there on Sunday and playing well, and we're excited to do that. Everyone's saying no Ed Reed, no Ray Lewis, no Dennis Pitta. How is this team going to get the job done? How are the Ravens going to rebound? Talking to the Super Bowl MVP, are you confident this team can go all the way? No doubt about it. We got a great football team. We got a young group, guys that are ready to go, eager to get out there. I have all the confidence in the world and my and our ability to go do it. And I think we have the guys to do it. I think the outsiders may not see it that way, but I think they'll see it pretty soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brassy girls everywhere. Hands, hands in the air. Somebody over here. Shake it for the man of the year. Met man of the year, met man of the bounce Where I see girls everywhere Hands, hands, hands in the air Somebody over here Shaking for the man of the year